just love cleaning up that King of Clubs. You know, the beauty of it is the King of Clubs is still in the Florida Powerboat Club, but guess what? She's not mine anymore. No, we turned the helm of King of Clubs over to Sean Gallivan from New York two years ago, and Sean and his wife Lisa have been having fun all over the Sunshine State with the Florida Powerboat Club. Stu Jones, back to you with more episodes of Powerboating in Paradise TV. It's been a couple of years, but we have been everywhere. We've been in the Florida Keys, along the co coastal waters throughout Florida. We've been to the Bahamas, Jacksonville, Southwest Florida, the Gulf Coast of Florida, and we've got plenty of great episodes coming up of new episodes of Power Boning in Paradise TV. Now this show, we're gonna recap all of 2010, showing you just the highlights. For those of you who went on all of our runs, they're not all gonna be featured here, but we do have some of the good ones. The Miami Boat Show Poker Run, Sanibel Harbor in Southwest Florida, the Bahamas, the Florida Keys, Emerald Coast, it's all here. On this episode of Power Boating in Paradise TV. Let's go. Our first big event in our best of 2010 feature is the Miami Boat Show Poker Run, which takes place just a few days after the close of the Miami International Boat Show. Right immediately after the first card, we head out into Biscayne Bay, and here's our first boat. This is Anthony Fursina from New Jersey in a brand new 39-foot Hustler Rocket. This is a really, really fast V-bottom powered by Mercury Racing. Speaking of fast, this is a big Mystic Cat, a 50-footer owned by Jeff Stevenson from Wisconsin. It's got turbine power. Bill Robbins has been a longtime member with the Florida Powerboat Club. His last boat was a 36 Nortec. This is a 40 Nortec Roadster powered by Mercury Racing 850s. Here's Randy Kent from Missouri in a rare 39-foot Dragon. There weren't very many of these boats built, but uh, I guess he just picked this up. Craig Berry built this boat a few years back. Twin Nortex here, a 43 Nortec, and that's right, there's the king of clubs there, 39 Nortec Super V. That's the same boat that we featured for the last couple of years on Power Boating in Paradise as we campaigned it throughout the Sunshine State. Proud new owners now, Sean and Lisa Gallivan from New York, who have taken the ownership of the king of clubs in the fall of 09, and they've been aggressively attacking our poker run circuit and having a lot of fun with this boat. There's Sean and Lisa coming in to Jewfish Creek as we arrive at Gilbert's in Key Largo for lunch and our first stopover for the day. This is the place you want to be if you want to get a closer look at all of this big horsepower in the Florida Powerboat Club fleet. Always some entertainment dockside as our girls of FPC did a photo shoot for our cameras. This is a big part of the stopover here at Gilbert's. Back on the water, here we are with the factory team from Deep Impact. They brought three 36 Deep Impacts on the run, got them together for a great photo shoot. Making our way down through the backwaters, uh, this is the Little Speed Racer. It's a 40-foot MTI themed after the Speed Racer cartoon, and it's the second in the fleet. Randy Kent built a 44 just a few years ago. Making our way through the first mangrove canal, some of the boats uh, go on into the outside waters of the open ocean through Largo Sound. It's kind of a tricky way to get back out there. As you can see, the boats are just kind of carefully weaving their way out. Here's Derek Wachob in his one-of-a-kind Z044 Corvette MTI, powered by 1025-1200 Mercs. Another very, very rare MTI. This is the Bat Boat built a couple of years ago. And when it was built as a collector, it wasn't going to go on poker runs. But Sean Vincent is now bringing her out on the Florida Powerboat Club's runs. Looks like we're arriving now at Holiday Isle Resort in Isla Mirada. Very, very popular destination for boaters and for the Florida Powerboat Club. We've been coming here for about 18 years. We've got the entire marina blocked off for the Florida Powerboat Club event, and uh, the inside basin becomes a manufacturer showcase where we get a chance to talk to manufacturers and celebrities who will join us on this run. As the day fades away to evening, the Poker Run Village at Holiday Isle comes to life as we present dozens of awards in many categories to all of our club members. But the high stakes are in the poker hands as we presented over $10,000 in cash and prizes to the top three teams with the best hands. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll be on Florida's Paradise Coast for the Sanibel Fort Myers Poker Run to Everglades City. <laughs> 